box. Then you have an HP or a Dell. You type in your computer. If you do a Google search for Dell, it's going to come up with options to take you to the Dell website. And the one thing about when you're searching on the internet is you can read here where the site is for, like it says Dell.com official site. But you need to look at the web, the actual web address underneath. But sometimes it's not. So make sure it's the site you want, Dell.com. Once you're on the page, you want to look for support. Drivers and downloads. And you can either enter the service tag number on the back of your computer, or you can pick your model. You have a desktop, laptop. So you have a Dell Dimension or any of the other ones. What series? Browse through and find your dimension number. Verify that that one looks like your computer. Click confirm. Tell it what operating system you're using, the language. You can choose different categories, whether you want just the applications, just the chipset drivers, or leave it on all. And then, of course, recommended, urgent, or optional. Then open up applications. It shows you the different different drivers available for applications. There's recommended and optional. There's your audio driver. Click on download now or add to my downloads. And then you can add all the ones you want and then go back and download them. It will add one. My downloads, my download list. You and edit your download list. Download now. Or you can choose to download it. Save file. Yeah, that one's urgent. That's a patch that might help you. Network driver. Wireless utility, wireless adapter, onboard driver, download now. Save file. Go to my downloads. Close the web browser. Avast has to scan it first. You can close and wait for the scan, or you can go over your download and run it. Click run. This is going to extract all these files where it needs to be. You can leave that alone, it's best. Just remember, in case you have to go there, remember it's on your C drive, Dell drivers. It'll put all the next drivers that you open, it'll pull them all in that drivers folder also. Click OK, does not exist, create it. OK. And it opens the folder that it was extracted to. Run your setup and follow the instructions through there. Restart your computer and hopefully that'll work.